Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and then today we're continuing our legendary Iron Man playthrough. I'm trying to go through the game uh, with its infamous mod. Today Operation Banished Spark is upon us, a very light uh, opposition, so four packs for a scientist and an intel package. Gotta be careful though, the losses are here, so we don't want too much noise. And it is a large map, and these are the only side trips. So let's launch the mission and see what we got. Alright, landed. Let's get this going. Bit of a scouting. Oh wow, squads of four. Well, the enemy force level is, uh, the enemy strength level is already relatively high. So I am not at all surprised to see that. All right, I'll go. Steady our own weapon. Um, yeah, moves to there, moves to there, moves to there, we gotta engage really soon, We're already being trapped in the entrance zone, good job. Okay, Purifier is always a perfect combination on a map with Lost, right? Because there is nothing that you would like to have more than a Purifier that explodes and summons more Losts. Can we kill her? Oh, come on. One up. Okay, two down. If we were to slash, that could kill it. I should at least try it. Okay, small chance, but nonetheless good. First pack down, but we lost concealment. It's an okay start. Could have been better, could have been worse. Readings are all over the place. The lost are almost right on top of you. Good. The losses are close, but not here yet. Let's move slightly forward without maybe triggering too much Got it. lots of loot for us which is fantastic from a pure loot perspective this mission is an absolute beast of a mission love it Rolling. moving forward Overwatch, 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 and hunker down. And the losts are showing up, showing their ugly face. <coughs> of course, Grace. If someone only has two hit points, then please Grace him. Down. 
And then overkill by by five. Very good. Moves up in order to be the punching uh, ball, which is good because uh, we do have repost. Need to get that big fat lost brute. Because they always do the asset pool which we don't want the grappler is the next worst so that guy needs to die as well moves to here to get the brute oh come on Can't charge in. Let's get that grappler. Okay, so I got one. And since I don't know what you will do, let's just kill you. Okay, that did not trigger this absolute stupid asset. Oh. Forgot that you were a grappler. move along the street reload this turn Ready to go. overwatch overwatch hunker down next turn we're moving up because I think packs are going to be here Okay. I wish we had the ability to reconceal yet. Got it. Okay. I hope it's worth it. Double time. Steadying weapon. Absolutely. Moves over here to the back. And very soon the next Lost Swarm comes and we're just coming uh, from around the corner. Should be good to go. Aye, aye. Nothing so far. I think losses are going to approach us.
moves into cover. Let's get that brute down first. Ooh, just a grazing shot, interesting. Good, so Cougar moves up. Continues to hit the brute. We're continuing to focus on the brute. Oh, come on. <sighs> Don't want to go too close because there might be a pack here. down We're reloading bubble sure thing. Our begins to move up is that a grappler no, it's just a normal loss. That's how it's done. Roger that. All right, nothing. I knew they would be hiding somewhere. It's always the same story, right? Uh, they hide at the very edge of your vision range to then say, Haha, told you. Uh, you activated my trap card. Picking out that sector. They are trying to pre prevent us from moving out, of course. That was our chance to get him out of cover. Okay, so we gotta deal with these guys. Let's first and foremost get you down. Thank you. That's a good start. Sector also needs to die. Missed. Reinforcements will be incoming. Overwatch here. Maybe we can kill one of them. Uh, it's, uh, unless it's an advanced trooper, in which case, no. 
No, nah, it's an advanced trooper. We're past the point where there are just four hit point trooperinos running around. And even those wouldn't die from a three hit point grazing shot. Kill the sector. Very nice. Hmm. Not so nice on the other hand. Get out of here. And we're just going to f uh, get out of here next turn. The loss might have just come at the right time because they are easier targets and Edmund from time to time shoots the loss, therefore. Ignoring us, uh, which at least for some of the advents is true, of course, not for those who have a nice little flanking angle. But we do have a protocol, and a protocol already saved our bacon a couple of times. Nope, that's why we have counterattack. Thank you. Cool. Worked very well. I think we had Overwatch there. Well, it's going to be a dash. Might be a hit for Overwatch, maybe not. Okay, we take some damage, but it's moderate. Could have been much worse. The missions start to be at a difficulty level where we're just not going to get all of them down. I mean, we killed um, over 20 enemies and there were still 10 left and would have stayed, uh, there would have been more uh, coming. The problem is if you do have uh, lost side trap, which we're not going to have on many, many missions, that's already uh, very heavily stacked against you unless we're getting uh, the ultrasonic lure. 10, wow, Zukuger. For one, oh, should have get, gotten field sergeant. I like failsafe hacking. Healing for four extra hit points isn't bad either. Rescue protocol is very good. So I'm wondering if we go fail safe into rescue protocol. 
I think we're doing that. It essentially is a no-brainer because it, um, it makes one hack, quote unquote, the safe one. A little bit more leeway before we're getting injured is helpful. Yeah, 10 days, that's rough. But we got six Elarium cores and two e expanded magazines. Plus, resistance HQ for new recruits. we got a new scientist. So, look, overall, <coughs> fine. It was an okay map or an okay mission. My concern is the missions now have uh, gotten into a difficulty level where it is just very difficult to do them in a flawless or near flawless state. Here we have smash and grab. That would be an option. Here we do have an easy smash and grab with much higher baseline. On the other hand, that could be over infiltrated. Oh, the lost. No, no, no. I don't want another lost mission. They really are difficult. Return fire is, isn't great either. Setting course for the Indian Regional Zone. Good. The Space Wolves would get there up to 92%. Let me just play a little bit around with that. Good. After a bit of massaging, we're exactly at 100%. Got rid of a pack and we will be making it just in four days, six hours. Should be okay uh, with the baseline and the Space Wolves can do that extra mission. It's an okay uh, team. We got enough cover removal this time, no loss. Uh, so we can actually use it. And overall, the team should be fine. We have so many missions at the same time. What I learned today from the Wiki, by the way, is if you do have, if you're infiltrating, or if you are on seven missions at the same time, then um, you are even increasing the um, timer for the evac. So there is, there is that, um, which makes it more and more difficult. Lots of missions that are just too timely to really do. How can we do that? Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, we can spend some time, uh, some intel to get the higher infiltrated mission. I think we're taking this team uh, for it. Just spend intel, um, get it to 113%, good baseline. We can get the lead, get the intel back. Uh, hopefully get this team into a decent state and then we can take that very team to defend Commander, we the have no new supplies other mission new means of replenishing our resources. got a haven advisor on top of it And that's pretty much all we got. Oh, okay, we're being attacked here because there's an active mission for it. All right, fair enough. Good. That's the end of today's mission. Thanks a lot. Uh, today's episode, rather. Thanks a lot uh, for watching. Appreciate uh, your viewership as always. And to see you in the next episode. Bye bye.